Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an in-depth tutorial showing you how to apply false lashes. I know that when you first try to apply false lashes on yourself, it's typically a very aggravating and irritating experience. So I'm gonna share with you a lot of tips and tricks that I have learned and picked up along the way, and hopefully it'll make your experience of applying false lashes much easier and more comfortable. False lashes are basically gonna take any look and just bump it up to the next level. It's like the dot at the end of the sentence. So it'll take any pretty everyday look and just make it glamorous and just over the top beautiful, more like something that you would see in a magazine or on a celebrity on the red carpet. So I am going to be using my absolute favorite brand of lashes today in this video. And if you watch my channel, you know what's coming. It's the Velour Lashes. They are 100% mink fur. There is no animal cruelty in the process of making these whatsoever. You can read about that on their website. I will list it down below. I have been using these religiously for like the past six months to eight months maybe. I've been using Strike a Pose, which is the name of the lashes. And I've only gone through two pairs in six months. Two pairs. And I you literally apply false lashes a couple times a week so they literally last forever they say it can be worn up to 25 times I would say more like 30 to 35 times as long as you're taking care of them oh my gosh they're just beautiful since they are mink fur they look like feathers on your eyes they just look so natural it's insane they're just gorgina so anyways I do have a discount code for you it is Jacqueline Velour 15 if you're interested in trying some for yourself today is the perfect day because they actually released three new styles this morning so my discount code will be lasting until October 31st so if you want to take advantage of it you've got 10 days baby 10 days so first thing that you want to make sure of is that you have a mirror in front of you I just have like one of these swivel mirrors where one side is magnified and one side is not I would definitely recommend going to the magnified side now the most important thing is that you are looking down into your mirror you do not want to be looking like this that's gonna be super aggravating when you're trying to apply false lashes you want it to be I would say about right here and then turn it upwards that way you're at that really uncomfortable awkward upshot angle of yourself that is how you should be looking in your mirror when applying false lashes Okay, so I lowered my camera down a little bit, and I know this is not the most flattering angle, but this is not about me right now, and this is about learning how to apply false lashes. So when you get a box of false lashes, you're obviously gonna have two in there, and the way they're placed is exactly how they're gonna go on your eye. So this is gonna go on this eye, and this is gonna go on this eye, just like so. You don't wanna turn it around and then be like, wait, which one, which one? Because a lot of times false lashes, it's kind of difficult to tell which is the inner corner and which is the outer corner. So I always just go like this, hold up to your face, this one, this, this one, that, got it. When taking them out of the package, you can sometimes rip false lashes just because you're so eager to grab them and pull them out. That never has happened to me with velour lashes before, but some cheaper lashes that can tend to happen. So I just always use tweezers to get them out just to ensure that I'm not gonna rip them at all. And I do start with the outer edge when I take them out and then you just pull like that and it'll just come right out on your tweezers. So first thing you want to do is measure it to your eye shape and see if it is going to be too long and if it needs any trimming. So as you can see, this is much too long for my eye. That is not cute. You want to make sure that the lash ends right in this area before you get to the end of your eyeball. As you can see, this makes me look tired. When you look at me, this eye looks much more sleepy and worn out than this eye does. You do not want a lash that extends past your liner or past your eye. It's just not a good look. So you're going to want to trim it. You always want to trim from the outer corner, never from the inner corner. If you trim from the inner corner, what's going to happen is these shorter ones right here are going to be taken off and you're going to be left with the longer ones. Then you're going to have that lash where in the inner corner you don't have a gradual increase in the length. Instead, it's just going to start off long and get longer. And it's just not going to look natural. So just always trim from the outer corner. So since it was a really too long for me, I'm going to just go in and cut off that area. This is very awkward to do while holding it up on camera. And a lot of times I'll have to go back and trim it two or three times just because I'd rather not trim enough and have to go back. And now see, I could leave it like that definitely, but me personally, I like to take off a tiny bit more because I don't like the lashes to go too far into my inner corner. Otherwise it can kind of tend to stab you throughout the day. Okay, so that is perfect. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is apply mascara. I do not apply a really thick coat of mascara when I am working with velour lashes because they are so beautiful that I don't wanna take away anything from them. So I just apply the thinnest layer of mascara possible. I also do not curl my lashes because if I curl them, then it is much more complicated to get the lashes on around that intense curl and get it in there. It's just a hassle. I prefer just to let these lashes do as they please. They're so beautiful and so natural that I just try to keep everything else very toned down. So I'm just going to be 
using this Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. It's just drugstore mascara. You obviously don't need to be using like YSL mascara for this. It's not gonna really be showing up. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes with a thin coat of mascara, but you do wanna make sure that you get pretty much every lash. Because these lashes are so black, if you leave your lashes with no mascara on it, you will be able to see the disconnection between the black fake lashes and then your lashes. So make sure that you try to get all of the hairs. Lovely. Are you kidding me? Once you apply your mascara, wait just like a minute or two for it to dry, just to avoid any messes that could happen, getting mascara all over your hands or getting it all over the false lashes and ruining the false lashes. Just wait, it'll make it much easier. I'm gonna be using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive. This is probably the most popular lash glue in the cosmetic industry. You can find it pretty much anywhere. CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, even sold at the MAC counter and MAC stores. It is the waterproof one. The difference is the non-waterproof one has the blue on the packaging as opposed to the pink. And the non-waterproof dries clear. It is a white when it comes out. I don't think it dries clear. I honestly think it dries more of a beige, not to mention it's not waterproof. Um, this one, I just I think it lasts so much longer. It stays on better. And if for some reason you feel like tearing up or crying during the day for no reason, your eyelash won't pop off on you like mine did at the altar on my wedding day. <laughs> Good times. So the way I apply my lash glue is I just take it straight from here. There's many different ways. You can apply it with a Q-tip, you can apply it on a tray with your hands. I think this is the easiest way. I just squeeze it, I get a little bit of it to come out at the top like that, and then I just take it and I run it along the top of the lashes. You do not need tons. Yes, little bubbles will come out, you're fine. It's no problem. You just get a little thin line like that. Make sure that there's not any big spaces or gaps. That's all you need. You don't need to go overboard with tons of lash glue. That's more than enough right there. If you put this directly on your eye right now, it is gonna be a disaster. And I think that's the number one problem and mistake that we make when we first try to apply our lashes. We're like, oh my God, there's glue on it, hurry apply it. And it's like slipping and sliding around. You're getting lash glue all over your eyeshadow and it's just, it's a hot mess. So just sit here and let this dry for at least 30 to 40 seconds. Do not worry, the longer you let it dry and get tacky, the easier that it's going to be to apply on your, on your eyes. <laughs> I can't talk. So it's been probably a minute at this point, so I'm going to apply them now. So once again, the mirror is angled up at me, slightly like the camera. Let me, oh, hello, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you. So what we're gonna do is with our hands, we're going to take it and we're just going to drop it right there on the eye. It is not on at all. The outer corner is not on, nothing is on. It's just sitting there. So with tweezers, I'm now gonna grab the false lash, as you can see, and I'm going to pinpoint it right there on the bottom. Let go, there we go. So just push it in there like that. Now you can see the inner corner is not on that's just flopping around. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take that and just push it. Then to assure that I have them on as low as possible because you don't want your lashes to be up in the middle of your eyelid or super high, it's just not gonna look natural. So I just kind of gently squeeze just to make sure that they are as close together as possible and making them look as natural as possible. You can see how much more awake and alive this eye looks as opposed to this one with absolutely no lashes. It makes such a difference. And as you can see, these lashes are just insane. Have you ever seen lashes this pretty before? They're seriously so fluffy, it's redonky donk. All right, so same thing. After about 40 seconds, I am just going to drop that there. And then I'm going to take this inner corner and pop it on. I do the inner corner on my left eye first just because I'm right-handed and it makes it easier. And I do the outer corner on this side. It just, it really doesn't make a difference which corner you do first. Then taking the outer corner, doing the same thing and pushing it down. There we go. Just because I'm a perfectionist, I'm going to take some of Makeup Geek's gel liner. This is Immortal. It's a black, black gel liner. And I just go over that base. Try not to get it on the lashes themselves because that definitely can dull down the life of the lashes and make them not last as long. Um, that's why we avoid putting mascara or eyeliner on them because it will definitely cut down the life of the lashes. You wanna try to keep them as clean and away from any other makeup products as possible to keep them looking the best for as long as possible. 
So now we have the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the description bar below. I will have all the information down there, products I use, and also whatever I'm wearing on my face right now in case you're interested. Also, the discount code will be down there with all the instructions and lashes and the names of things that I use. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you soon. Bye.